installation of tabletop raw water purifier dispenser might first step now first step for installation is to close your home general water valve otherwise every operation will uh, cause the water spill now this is add uh, some parts for the installation now the first step is to in to connect the pipe with your uh, floor valve in your kitchen or in your washroom. Now let's look at the valve. This is the valve under sink. You first you have already closed your home general valve, water valve, and then you, you must open it open this valve and install this three-way valve be careful with here is a ceiling ring and then you when you install it you need to use this teflon tape to make no leakage and then this way to the original way this way to this way and this way to the water pipe here now this way installation is like this. Remove this and uh, install in this way and then screw it up. Push push very tight make it very tight and then screw up it like this be careful no ceiling ring lease loss okay then it will be here like this and then you need to make this water pipe go around the co edge corner of the, your room okay then if necessary you need to drill a hole on the wall to make this pipe to pass through if no need to pass through any wall then you need to make the water pipe to go along along the edge the edge to make it fixed on the wall or on the corner of the room okay if you want to use this water filter in your office or in your sitting room uh, where it is far from water source or water pipe then you can use a water water bucket or water basin something like a water container to to give source to the water purifier and uh, you can put this this is a small filter very small the primary filter and also it has some uh, weight and is put it in your bucket and install it with the pipe this is a fast connection very easy then now it's done you cannot pull it out if you want to remove it for washing purpose then you need to push this ring in this way push and then pull this the, this opposite direction taking like this Put it into the bucket of water and then it will help the pipe go down to the bottom of the water, water bucket. Then put this pipe installed with the, with the machine this side. Now the machine you see why is inlet, why is outlet. This is the inlet. Now remove the, this this one also fast connection you must remove this in this way opposite direction okay opposite pulling push this one and pull this one you will get it down and then you can install this one it will be done very easy like this this is the water inlet then you also need to install another pipe cut this pipe into two pieces okay each piece five meters and then install it here is the water outlet that's for flushing 
drain outlet. Okay, you can you can install the outlet in this way. That the water will go down to the water bucket also. If you install the machine to a water pipe connected with your water pipe under the sink, then you cut this pipe in into two pieces and the outlet must be go to the under sink floor drain. Okay. Step two. If you want to hang this machine on the wall, you need to use this hooking plate. You need to drill six holes on the wall according to the position of this hooking plate and use this expansion screws to, to make it installed, fixed on the wall and then hang this machine here and here these two places to, to hang this machine on the wall The third step now let's look at the filter cartridges installation. This is the spanner to open it. Now the, the, the order is like this. The first one is PP, like this. Then open it. The first stage is PP. PP. You see, the inside structure is like this. It must be well fit well fit inside structure must well fit to avoid the original water and the clean water to 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 make it fit very well very well and then close it up and make it very tight with a spanner very tight very tight to avoid the leakage. Now open the second one, it is UDF. UDF the same way, okay? You see here the hole. Now it, yes, it must be installed in this way. Installed in this way. Here the structure must be well aligned, well aligned. Put it inside and uh, like this and uh, make it very tight, very tight, like this. Now this one is CTO, CTO in the same way. CTO. Two ends are same, you can install in any way, but it must be well fit inside the structure. The inside edge must be go inside of the cartridge, like this. And then here must be well aligned. Make it very tight. Now this one is RO. RO, you see here two black ceiling rings. It must be go under it because here you see here is the arrow. Arrow, it must be go down like this. It is not installed in the machine because it has this and it is very tight, very tight cartridge. We cannot put it in this way, we cannot put it out. So it is put outside that when you install it must be removed the plastic bag here and make it well, well aligned, well fit with this, like this. When you receive the machine here is empty, okay? And make it tight. Very tight. Then the last one, T33. Now 
it is the same way with before it is a flat end. It's like this, but it must be like this. Must be like this. Installed. Here, in this way, the arrow, arrow, in this way. Then make it tight. Okay. Step four. After you install the five stages of fit as well, you need to wash the machine. Now first, thing you must to plug this plug into a socket nearby that is important if it is not plugged in no power and then no water will flow out from here okay then these two uh for seeds you should open them in this way open one by one or open two at the same time to make water flows out for 20 or 30 minutes to get clean water and then the machine is totally washed. You can get the water with a basin or a bowl or a water jug or anything water container to remove the water, to drop the water to somewhere else, okay? And the thing, uh, every time when you use the machine, first time you must make sure the water from the hot faucet can flow out. That means the inside the heating tank is full with water. And then you can switch on this heating switch and to avoid the dry burning, okay? That is important. That means every time you must make sure water flows out of hot faucet and then you can switch on here. Okay, this machine can be put on a table like this and it must be close to a socket. And uh, or you can hang it on the wall and for your easy convenience, okay? And for more points of attention, you can read this user manual carefully, okay? That's all. Last step. I look at here, here are two outlets for flushing, for washing of the cooling tank and heating tank inside. If after a long time you use the machine and it may have some water scale or some impurities, I don't know what will happen in future. If you want to flush, want to clean the inside of the two water tanks here at the outlet, you can remove this, remove this, and uh, uh, drain out all the water inside. And then you push on, push on this silicone rubber cover. And this one must be fixed with this metal clamp because after the tank is very hot, it may be loose. And uh, when you want to repair the machine, you need to open this cover. The cover is like this. Here are two, two places for the clamp. And when you want to open it, you must open in this way, open in this way, and you push. Push, push here. Push here very, very hard. It's not easy to open, okay? Push like this, and then you lift, lift the cover. Push and lift, push and lift in this way. Two sides, two sides at the same time, and then it will open like this. And then here will be opened. And then you will see the inside of the machine. And if anything happens, the problem happens, you can repair. You can repair here, okay? After repairing, you need to close it like this, okay? You need to put these two clamps into the sink, into the sink, like this. And then push, push. It will be ready, like this, finish.